Hi, and welcome to Linux in number 5. Today we're going to be talking about pipes. Pipes are basically a way to um, redirect output from one command into another command for the next command to use. Um, a very basic sample of this is um, reading a large file or running a command that has a lot of output and you want to um, you know, maybe use a less command to um, to read it as you would like a text file. Um, a very easy example is to do a uh, D message, which is a command to read the uh, the kernel uh, level um, file, and that's going to print out a bunch of junk. And especially in my putty window, I don't even have scroll back all the way. So you can actually do D message, and now this the command that we're talking about the pipe is the um, key right above the inner key. And if you do shift and hit it, it's going to make this little pipe symbol. And now, basically, we're telling Linux that we're going to go ahead and redirect the output into another command. And the most popular command for pipes are, is normally less. So you're going to do less. And that's going to take the output from D message, put it through the pipe, and it's going to insert it into the less command. So now when we run it, all the output that would have normally been uh, displayed on the screen is going to be put into the less uh, format. So here's the um, output and it starts at the very top and you can use the regular J and K or up and down arrow keys to go through the file. And you can do uh, you know, all your searches and uh, find out you know, anything you want. And you can do um, Q to exit when you're done. Um, so you can also pipe more, more than once, which is really nice to do. Especially when you're looking through a lo large log file and you're trying to find only a certain um, certain line of uh, text. So you can do um, D message, um, and then you can do pipe, and you can do grep. And grep works the same way as it would as a regular command, except um, we don't have to specify the file because grep is getting the input from D message. And then you give it the uh, string that it's looking for. For for example, we were looking for disabled. And we can hit enter. Now, as you can see, it's a lot of text again. And it's everything with just disabled. So we can do the same command, but we can pipe it again and pipe the rest of the output into less. So we can go through and see what kind of, you know, what kind of stuff is disabled on the system. And you can always, um, you can do grep again or do an or in the grep, but that's basically how that works. Now on uh, the same note, we can do redirects. So uh, instead of piping out the output into a less for us to view on the screen, we can actually um, redirect the output into a file so we can send it to the admin or, or re uh, review it later or something. So you'll do the greater than sign and that just means to take the output and put it somewhere else and that's going to be a file. So we'll do um, home, um, I believe we can just do um, tilde and then do the file. So we can say d message um, underscore disabled dot out. And now if we go straight out to the home directory we can do less on the D message. We can view it. And that way we have it for later if we need it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial on uh, pipes. Let me know if you have any questions.